Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would just give you a little bit of a glimpse into what I was working on this past week. I've been doing a lot of workshop prep. In my last vlog I talked about running workshops and I know some of you may be interested in how I prepare for my workshops and I guess how much preparation I do and like how much of it I plan and so I just wanted to share with you the workshop that I am currently doing for a garden called Pottagers and they're based in Cornwall and they have a beautiful cafe um, which is right in the middle of the garden with a greenhouse, well, a few greenhouses, um, and then they have the grounds which have lots of gardens. So the workshop that I am running for them is one where we focus on the gardens and the plants, and the idea is that we create a sketch journal in response to the environment, so I thought what would work really well would be to create a kind of accordion zine where we would draw all of the kind of plants and vegetation that catches our eye. We would make the illustrated pages into an accordion layout. When I begin a workshop, I like to kind of let everyone know what the objective of the workshop is. So when I begin this one, I will show people what it is that they are creating, which is why it's important that I go through the same process before I actually teach the class of what it is that we're doing. So I spent a bit of time at Pottinger's when I was um, there just looking around, taking lots of pictures as well as sketching stuff myself and then I was able to come back to my um, studio and then work on creating a journal which was inspired by the garden itself. The medium that I'm using is watercolour and then my brush pen as well as coloured pencils and I'm trying to be quite loose in the techniques so I'll teach this technique um, in the workshop. Laying down the colour first um, means that you are going to have something that looks a little bit more fresh and it's going to have a little bit more life because you're not tying it down to the lines quick for getting down the colours that you see in front of you and then able to work in the details afterwards. So it's a really nice way of working. I find that it just allows you to be a little bit more free in your art making. It just feels very loose and very fresh way of capturing the work. Once I've shown people some of the techniques we'll be using, I'll then encourage them to go out and to start exploring the garden themselves and start sketching. It could be an interesting composition, something unexpected. For instance, the orange chair next to the agave plant really stood out to me and it was something that I really wanted to bring in the journal. So my workshop will include that time of exploration and finding things that are interesting and then also quite a bit of time then drawing and observing. So hopefully at the end of the time together we will have spent time in the garden, we would have learnt some ways of capturing what we see in front of us 
we would also have hopefully felt quite rested and relaxed. When you start painting and drawing and really getting into it, you can, your brain kind of switches off and you're able just to enjoy just using the paints and the colors and adding just texture. It kind of becomes almost like a meditative kind of experience, which is what I really would like the um, participants to gain is that kind of really restful experience of just looking and drawing. And then finally I'll get the group to label up their pieces and maybe add any other descriptions that they want to to their journal. Them how to fold the journal and to create a cover and you'll see on the inside of my cover I've just made a really simple pattern. It's kind of like the end papers of a book so I thought that would be a nice detail to have and that would be the workshop that we would do. So I do go into quite a bit of detail when I am preparing for a workshop. Um, something like this workshop especially, I want to make sure that I've tried everything out and I know maybe what to expect. Obviously I can't plan for everything and it also depends on the group and their attitude and whether they're open to trying different things. And so you can't control everything when you run a workshop, but if you can kind of prepare as much as you can, then you'll be a lot more ready for when the unexpected happens. Make sure you have in your mind what it is that you want your workshop to achieve, what is the main objective, and then once you know that, you can then work backwards and create a plan of how you're going to lead that workshop through. So I hope this is helpful to some of you who may be thinking of running a workshop and I'd love to hear what your thoughts are in the comments below. And if you are in Cornwall and would love to take part in this workshop, then I've left the link below to book yourself in. Thanks again guys for tuning in and I will see you again soon.